According to Emma Donghue, scared is what you're feeling, brave is what you're doing. When Valentine would stand up for Ender to Peter, she was showing courage, knowing that she could make Peter upset. Also, she was acting courageous when she decided to write Ender a letter while he was in battle school, which she knew she should not do. When Ender was having a tough time in battle school, Valentine was asked to visit Ender while he was on Earth. She knew she should not, but she also knew that it was her brother and she had to be there for him. In Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, Valentine shows tremendous courage all the time, no matter how she feels about what she is doing. Ender and Peter had an awful relationship. Peter felt like he could bully Ender just because he had a chip in his neck. Ender was too stubborn to stand up to Peter to the point where it really made a difference. Whenever Valentine was around, though, she would stick up for Ender. Well, now your guardian angels aren't watching over you, Peter said. Now they aren't checking to see if you feel pain. Listening to hear what I'm saying. Seeing what I'm doing to you. How about that? How about it? Ender shrugged. Suddenly, Peter smiled and clapped his hands together in a mockery of good cheer. Let's play buggers and astronauts, he said. Where's Mom? asked Valentine. Out, said Peter. I'm in charge. I think I'll call Daddy. Call away, said Peter. You know he's never in. I'll play, Ender said. You be the bugger, said Peter. Let him be the astronaut for once, Valentine said. When Peter was telling Ender what role he was going to play, Ender did not have a say in it. In fact, he wanted to play with Peter. Valentine knew that Ender was not going to actually want to play with Peter for long, so she stepped in and told Peter what Ender was going to try to say later. After Ender got sent to battle school, Graf noticed that he wasn't adjusting right ever since the game with Peter's face in the mirror. Graf came back to Earth to talk to Valentine about Ender. She didn't understand why he was coming to her about this because Graf was with Ender much more than she was. She was okay with helping him with it, but she did not want to write a letter like Graf wanted her to. I can see him. No, I want you to write a letter. What good does that do? Ender never answered a single letter I sent, Graf sighed. He answered every letter I got. It took only a second for her to understand. He really stink. Valentine wanted to visit Ender, but Graf thought it would be best for her to write a letter. Ender answered every one of Graf's letters. Valentine gave in to writing a letter, but she wasn't thrilled about it. Some people might think that Ender is the most courageous character, but I disagree. Although Ender might have gone to battle school under tough conditions, that doesn't make him automatically courageous. Courage is defined as the ability to do something that frightens one or strength in the face of pain or grief. Although Ender went to battle school, which might have frightened him a little bit, he was a little kid and didn't really understand what he was getting himself into and therefore wasn't able to feel actual fear because he wasn't fully aware of what he was doing. Valentine, however, was a little bit older and understood everything that frightened her. For example, when she had to meet Ender on the lake, she knew that it wasn't a good idea because she was unsure of how Ender would act, which frightened her. She was able to push past her feelings of maybe not meeting Ender, and she met him. Valentine was able to comprehend what she was doing and understood what it consisted of. She was able to figure out what the best thing to do in spite of her better judgment. Ender, on the other hand, did not really understand how his choices would affect him. He blindly made decisions and was not really able to know how he would feel about the choices and therefore wasn't able to overcome his fear or pain or grief. Hard work studies just like school here, except we put you into mathematics and computers much more heavily, military history, strategy, and statistics, and above all, the battle room. What's that? Ender didn't really understand what battle school was like the battle room he did not even know what it was so he could not really be frightened of it so when ender decided to join battle school he had no idea what he was actually saying yes to graf had began to notice that ender was having a pretty hard time at battle school and he asked valentine to come to the lake where ender had been brought so she could meet with him when valentine originally got asked she was not sure if she should go graf got her to agree though and she went when she met ender he was different than she remembered. She was just supposed to talk to him, which she did, and this is all she could focus on, the fact that she was being forced to talk to her own brother. Later in her visit, Ender told Valentine that she was afraid that he would still love her, and in response to that, she said she hoped he would. She heard the anger in his voice and assumed it was directed at her. I suppose that's what I'm here for, to suck you back in. I didn't want to see you they told me 
I was afraid that I'd still love you. I hoped that you would. My fear, your wish, both granted. Andrew didn't want to love Valentine anymore because he was afraid that it would hold him back emotionally from going back to battle school after meeting with her. Valentine wanted Andrew to still love her because he is his sister and she missed him. Andrew is upset at the end of this conversation because he still loved her despite what he wanted to feel. Valentine was very courageous all throughout the whole book. She was asked a fair number of times to do something that made her uncomfortable, but she persevered through her discomfort and was always there for her family, especially under. Valentine was very courageous, even if it meant risking herself for the well-being of others.